Okay, so I apologize for the quality of the video. I'm currently in the car on the way to Unmuted. I have a horrible habit of making videos in the car. Um, anyways, a quick testimony before I start. I grew up in a Christian home with phenomenal parents who have a wonderful relationship with God, and they, they study the Bible every day, and they raised me to do the same. And so that considered, one would expect me to have gotten saved young and lived a wonderful, spirit-filled life, right? Wrong. I did think so too, though. I paraded around under the story that I was saved at four and baptized at seven until I was maybe 10 or 11 and I became an atheist. So what I'm gonna talk about here is how that atheism that I wallowed in for until June of 2016 was actually incredibly ironic in nature. And it was because I was caught by a trap that I think we all can fall into. So jumping back into that testimony, you're probably wondering at this point why I had become an atheist. And you're gonna look at me really funny as soon as I say this, so just bear with me. I became an atheist because of how much I studied the Bible. It was because of my knowledge, because of my obsessive study of literally every aspect of scripture from science to history to language, that I learned so much that I lost all faith. I mean, why did I need it at that point, right? It's, if I learned everything, I had already proved it. I mean, faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. And if I could see it all, why did I need faith to jump that little gap? Because in my mind, there was no gap anymore. So where do you think I put my faith at that point? Well, to put it simply, I put my faith in myself. I put my faith in my knowledge and my ability to reason and research. But I didn't actually realize that at that time. For months, I honestly believed that I was had proved God and that I was believing in the facts surrounding him. To put it simply, I learned about the fact and forgot about the grace. All my studying, all my head knowledge, it caused me to legitimately forget that it is by grace we are saved through faith. I, my alleged intellect caused me to forget that God was my father. I knew he was necessary, and I knew all the science and psychology and philosophy and history and language and all that behind why he was necessary. But the knowledge turned him impersonal. It turned him into a document on my computer, into a page in my notebook. And an impersonal God may as well not exist. So I guess what I'm doing here is I'm warning you. By no means am I saying not to study. No way. I still study God's word every day and I would not trade that part of my day for anything. But what I'm saying is God isn't your science teacher. He's your father, your spouse, your friend. He didn't give you a science textbook. He gave you a love letter. Yes, he gave us facts. And yes, those facts are extremely necessary. But we have to be so careful not to let them get in the way of our relationship with God. I know this all sounds counterintuitive, but it is very, very possible. You study, you prove. By proving, you build a finite God within the confines of your imagination. You believe in that scientific, impersonal, finite God. And that finite God is fake, and you know it and hate it. You forget grace. You realize that that finite, self-created God is totally meaningless. And since you think that, that God that you created in your head is actually God, you give up on him. And that is where atheism can kick in. And let me tell you, atheism has a lot of really scary conclusions that... Yeah, you don't want to get into that. So I'm just saying, be careful. Be on your guard, stand firm. Your adversary, the devil, prowls about like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Just don't put yourself on his menu. I guess that's all. See y'all later.